Hey everyone, this is Brad and we are going over Lab 4.5, which is called It's Around Here Somewhere. As you can see, I've went ahead and taken the liberty of uh, creating, or at least starting on the very first part of the uh, assignment, which is basically creating the contains uh, variable that we want to recreate, or I should say the contains function that we want to recreate in Snap. So the entire idea of the contains function is that we basically uh, take a list, as you can see I've created the list variable, and say uh, true, report true if we found that search variable anywhere inside the list. So um, again, this should be pretty familiar. The idea of how we want to get started on this is basically the same. I'm going to say for i of 1 to the length of our list variable. So I'm going to go ahead and say length of list and drag that down right here. Um, we basically want to iterate through it and check and see if any of those values match. So I'm simply going to use an if statement right here. We're going to say if, and then I'm going to use an equal sign. If the item I of the list, if I can make sure I find that, if seek search value is equal to item I of list, right? We want to basically report true and quit. So we're going to see right here. Um, the difference between this and maybe some of the other ones that we've seen is that we want to quit this code as soon as we're done. So as soon as we find that list, we want to basically, uh, as soon as we find that search value, we want to go ahead and quit. So I'm going to go to looks and I'm going to use say, go ahead and use say right here, go to control. Um, and I want to find, I believe it's operators actually. I want to report true, so I want to use true right here. That's it, that's all I want to do. I want to go ahead and do that, duplicate that, drop it down here, make it false. Um, but I also want to make sure I go ahead and quit this code if I find it. So I want to say stop this block. So again, this basically says contains list. I search from item one to the length of the list. If the search value that I'm looking for is equal to the item that I'm looking at, I want to say true and go ahead and stop right there. So if I click OK, I want to look for my block, which should be right here. I'm going to go ahead and create two lists. Um, so I want to set, and that's basically it. I want to set value to be two. That's the value that I'm searching for, and I want to make a variable called search list. And then I want to instantiate that to a list. So that should be in variables, search list to go ahead and give it a three values. I'll do two, let's say, let's go back. Let's do three, four, and five. So that's basically going to make it so that I don't find anything in my contains little, uh, custom block. So you can see it reports false. Now if I press two instead, it reports true. Simple as that, really. Um, the second one that we want to start is where. So this is a custom block called index of that can take a list and a value as arguments and reports the index which the value is found on the list if it is there. So again, if it's not present anywhere in the list, we want to report one. So I am going to make this pretty easy. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and rip the code from our other block. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate and pull this one out. I'm going to click cancel. And I'm going to make a variable, um, or not a variable, I apologize. We're going to make a block. And this block is going to be called index of. Again, we want to go ahead and click cancel. I'm going to create two variables. I'm going to create one called list, one called search value, just like before. Click apply so that saves the change. And then I'm going to drag all this in right here. So again, we're doing the exact same thing. We're searching from i equals one to the length of the list. We're saying if the search value is equal to item i of list, instead of saying true in this case, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. And instead of saying true, I want to say i. And it really is that simple. Now the only difference is that instead of saying um, false, if we don't find it, we wanna report negative one. So I'm going to click OK and then go ahead and duplicate the things we just did. So I'm going to duplicate that, take this all out. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to take that out. Pull an index of. And again, if we're searching for, uh, let's say, 4, we should get a value of 2. 
just like that. Now, however, if we're searching for zero, since that's not in the list, we're gonna get a negative one, right? And then again, if we look up two, we get the value position um, of one, because again, that's where two is in our uh, inside of our list. The last thing that we wanna do is we wanna write a custom block called first E word that takes a list as an argument and reports the first word in the list that starts with the letter E. Um, for that custom, for that, uh, third function and for the bonus, uh, please tune in to the second part of lab 4.5. Thank you guys very much.